robotic arm retracts from the surface and drops off the drill bit with the now filled sample tube into our sample processing center. There's a sample handling arm which manipulates the sample to take images of the sample, to measure its volume, to seal the sample tube, and then to store it on board for potential future return. You know, at NASA, we get to see a lot of things that rewrite the history books. And what occurred September 6th at Jezero Crater is right up there with any of them. I'm happy to say that not one, but that the first two samples of another planet are prepped and stowed as the first official candidate samples to be returned to Earth by a future mission. Cannot overstate the significance of these rock samples that were collected by Perseverance. This is a truly historic achievement. You know, the very first rock cores collected on another terrestrial planet. It's amazing. Um, these two rock cores, as well as actually the first uh, sample tube that contains Martian atmosphere, these actually re represent now the beginning of Mars sample return. These uh, first core samples will actually be among tens of other samples that will be collected by the Perseverance rover in the many um, months and, and, and years uh, to come. And uh, the point of collecting these really well-documented rock, soil, and atmosphere samples, though, is to uh, bring them back to Earth so that we can analyze them here in the best and most capable Earth-based laboratories so that we can answer some of humanity's biggest questions. Like, was there ever life beyond Earth in our solar system? Did life exist on ancient Mars? The desire, the human desire to put, uh, to put uh, humans on Mars is, is very strong. Um, that exploration uh, uh, drive that we have. Um, I really believe that, uh, you know, we are going to do that one way or another. And, and once we understand, better understand the environment on Mars and better understand whether or not there was potentially life there in the past will help us uh, design where we want to go and how we want to go. But I think it's definitely going to happen.